Hello, and thank you for choosing the Legacy Lawyers as your source of information. We know this might be a difficult time you're going through, but we are here to educate you and help you through the process. Please stay tuned for our question and answer portion. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, David. How's the week looking for you so far? Absolutely mind-boggling <laughs> fantastic. That's good to hear. Okay, so you know for the next few weeks we're going to be talking about trusts. Yes. But this week we're going to be talking about trust disputes. Okay. So, what are some types of trust disputes? Okay, are you talking about in the context of relationships uh, where there's a lack of trust? Are you talking about <laughs> estate planning devices? Whichever direction oh. you want to go in. <laughs> well, I don't want to go in that direction. <laughs> okay, so trust disputes. I, I guess you can look at it as three main categories. I mean, there are many, many disputes within each of these categories. But um, one is a trustee dispute in which you have a dispute with the person managing the assets. One is actually a dispute over the trust instrument where you believe that some language in the trust is improper or was the trust itself was created through some sort of bad act. And one is a property dispute in which a dispute arises concerning the ownership of property that is claimed to be owned or not owned by the trust. So a trustee dispute, category one, is you have a beneficiary and you have a trustee and let's just say that trustee is also a beneficiary of the trust and appears to be managing all of the assets and splitting all the assets and sort of saying I take this asset you take that asset in a way that favors that trustee because they are a beneficiary that is a dispute that can arise let's just say you have a trustee who's kind of asleep at the wheel there's a lot of very complex assets or real property that's not being managed properly or you know the city's coming in and saying uh, you need a property manager all the grass is four feet high and uh, you know, you have people uh, breaking windows and you're not making any attempts to repair them. So that could be a dispute against the trustee over the management of the assets. It could be a dispute over failure to report. The beneficiary writes letter after letter and contacts the trustee and say, hey, 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 I need some information. And that trustee in turn says, you're harassing me. I'm going to file a restraining order against you, which I've seen. So uh, those are disputes that relate to the office of trustee. That is, who is acting as trustee and how they're managing the assets or how they're interacting with the beneficiaries. Another type of trust dispute, this is category two, is a trust contest. So let's just say we have a trust and it was created in 1990 and it says I want my kids to get everything 50-50 or 33 and a third based on three or 25% to each of the four. The trust is created in 1990 and the person created the trust changes, like let's just say every time they uh, appoint a trustee, that person passes away or moves away, so they change the trust a number of times during their lifetime, all with the same beneficiary shares. And while that person creating the trust is in hospice care or sick or under morphine drip or delusional or with advanced Alzheimer's, uh, mysteriously somehow a brand spanking new trust amendment is placed in front of them and is signed and notarized and it says, oh, well, you know, I love all of my children uh, equally, but... I want 100% to go to this one person and nothing to go to the rest. Then the disinherited beneficiaries may wish to contest the trust, suggesting that either the person lacked capacity uh, to understand the change or that uh, this person was subjected to undue influence and uh, was essentially persuaded or had their free will, will overwhelmed uh, so that the trust, this last iteration of the trust doesn't reflect their true intent. Another, and this is the third type of trust dispute, is concerning property. I see this all the time. 
I see this in situations in which the trust is created uh, through an estate planning attorney and the attorney helps the person creating the trust transfer their property into the trust. That property is later sold and they buy a new property and maybe it doesn't go into the trust. Maybe someone swoops in and says, oh, well, you know, I'm going to help you out here. Why don't you sign this property document? All of a sudden, this house that was formerly in the trust is now in joint tenancy, in which when that person dies, it just goes to the other person without any regard to what the trust says. That happens a lot. Uh, sometimes there could be a funneling of assets into an account or some other type of device that isn't owned by the trust. So, for example, let's just, let's just say someone creates a trust, their house is in the trust, and one child steps in and says, uh, Graham, Graham, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to uh, manage your Social Security. I'm going to pay the caregiver. But for purposes of convenience only, I'm going to, uh, because I need check writing authority, I'm going to create a joint account. And through the later years in life, that helpful person uh, makes sure that all income and um, proceeds from sales or just actually writes checks from the trust or helps Graham Graham write checks from the trust so that when Graham Graham dies, uh, there's these trust assets. Uh, they may be minimal. And all of these other assets, this wealth of cash is in some sort of joint account in which this helpful person now gives the bank a death certificate and those assets now belong to them, regardless, without regard to the trust. So that is the property dispute type of conflict that can arise in trust issues. Okay, thank you very much. And next week it's going to be trust issues with relationships. <laughs> So make sure you stay tuned. <laughs> if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to email us at smm at the Have a great day. Thank you.